Hello, Stratters. Welcome to $10 Deck. I am Bobgar the Warbarian, and we are playing some $10 Living End in Modern. We are up against Aces Wild 2481, and we will go first. And then this time, unlike the last game, I will be smart enough to say hello. Good luck. Have fun. Um, hmm. Feels kind of weak. We only have one cycler. We do have a combo piece. Two land isn't bad. On the play, it feels extra bad. I think I'm going to keep it, because this deck can mulligan pretty poorly. And we do have a combo piece, at least. Uh, but it feels bad playing a basic mount, a basic swamp, and then passing turn and effort, not doing anything. I probably should have led on mountain, actually. Not that it's super relevant here, I don't think. Oh, he didn't do anything either, at least. That is not what I needed. Pass turn. He's going to fetch some kind of a dual land, presumably. Um, what kind of dual land does he get? Red, white. Interesting. Daddy's super. Uh, red, white. I usually think of as being an aggressive color, but if it was super aggressive, I think he would have had a first turn play in most cases. But his draw could be medium too. Also possible. Hopefully, the cycle gets me something here. So far, no plays. Well, I will cycle this. Cycling. Boom. Everybody's sitting there being like, what the heck deck is this? Always feels funny, like, playing with basic mountain, basic swamp, and the other person is like, Windswept Teeth, Sacred Foundry, Bloodstained Mire, you're like, mm, I, basic mountain, basic swamp, cycle my two cent card. <laughs> it's alright, though. Jungle, I love you, Jungle Weaver. Even if nobody else does, I love you. Well, I should look at this version where it actually says what he is. 5-6 reach. It can't be a f How can you beat a 5-6 reach? What could be Okay, an Ember Cool could probably beat a 5-6 reach. But there's a 5-6 reach ain't too bad. Uh, if I don't get a land here, at least I have a free cycle. I do have a land, because I can uh, cycle that for a land. That was a bad one. Unfortunately, this only gets me Mountain or Swamp. The advantage to getting Swamp is I could play Fairy Macabre for free... There's actually no reason to get a mountain here, so I'll just pass. Because even if I got a mountain here, yeah, I could play it this turn, but I can't use it on anything. Well, actually, turn off all the other. I guess there is. Well, I, I probably should have done it just so that if I drew top deck to land, I could play. I could get up to four mana. I don't know why that would actually be relevant for anything, but. Interesting. So he might have counter spells, which is a little scary. Um, that's. Blue is the most scary color that I've seen so far. Maybe some kind of Kiln Fiend combo -y deck? I don't know, I hope he taps out this turn. I hope he taps out for a bunch of creatures. Not not looking good. Well, let me uh, cycle this one. I did Mountain Cycling, which is, I think, what I wanted, although it does mean I can't play Fairy Macab for Fair, which might be bad. I guess if he has the counter, I feel pretty bad about that. Play the Mountain. Um, got another Cycler. I don't really feel the need to try to go off here. He's not pressuring me at all. I can just cycle this for a swamp at end of turn. Oh, I also can't go off because I don't have green mana. I'm dumb. Um, yeah, I, I need a creature to target to go off. So having the swamp would allow me to play fairy so that I could combo off the turn after if I wanted to. Although if he plays a creature, I can combo. Steam vents and sacred foundries. Interesting. Plays a blue. Young pyromancer, that seems fine. Presumably he did that because now he can hold up counter. Swamp cycle. Hit a swamp. Oh, I should, eh, I should have done that differently. Yeah, I definitely should have done that differently. Right? 
forest cycling, but now I can't play the forest. I guess it wouldn't have mattered because I didn't have enough. Uh, forest. Past turn. Hope he doesn't kill us next turn. my face. Double lightning bolt? Nope, just one. Yeah, presumably he has some kind of counter spell. My guess is remand. Um, I think I do go for it here. But I certainly wait for his turn to go for it. Unless he taps himself out of blue mana somehow. Lightning Bolt, that seems okay. I think I let it go here, because he could still have Counterspell up. I think I'd rather do it when he attacks. White, sure. Delver of Secrets, sure. He must have a counter, otherwise he wouldn't do that, I think. Well, I'll try. We'll see what happens. Cast. Remand, sure. Go to five. All right. Um. Is it worth cycling for another mana source? Probably, because I can't. I can't beat mana leak anyway. I guess if you had spell pierce, I would feel pretty stupid if I did that, right? So I do, yeah. Because this is minus one mana. I think the chance that he has mainboard spell pierce is very low, but probably non-zero, but very low. I didn't draw a land naturally, unfortunately. Um, well... Yeah, I might as well. I'll, tr I'll, I'll mountain cycle. I think the one extra thing in the graveyard could be worth it if it, if it does paint out for me. Um... I guess I can Demonic Dread. There's no real reason to do the other one. Demonic Dread on him. Cascade. Actually, maybe that would, I guess it would have given me plus one, plus one. So maybe that would have been worth it. Cast. I'm assuming he has Mana Leak or Remand. Uh, no, he doesn't. Alright. Um, man, I regret so many things. Combat. Uh, swing for 15. What does he have now? Does he have a sweeper? That would be pretty bad for me. Oh, I should have. No, I shouldn't have. But not putting that in is fine. Oh, he's going to miracle and treat the angels. Sure, that sucks for me. How many does he get? Is he good enough to stop me? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. He only gets four. All right. Nope, he doesn't get it. Wow. Oof. I did not think I was winning that one. Um, and I still don't think I'm going to win it. But I do have a better chance after sideboard when they bring in Ricochet Trap. Because he obviously is going to uncoid a few counter spells. Uh, even pre-board, he's going to run a lot against me. And post-board, he's going to run even more. I, I think Macabre might be good because he's probably running Snapcaster and you really want to eat in response to Snapcaster. Um, what's not good? Shriekmaw's not terrible either. He does run some creatures that you don't want to stick around. He's obviously a Delver-style deck. 
Um, I, I do like going down one of each of these. Demonic Dread, I, I don't mind go going down one just because it's the weakest of them. That leaves me with 61 cards. What the heck do I cut? I'll just cut a Jungle Weaver because it's not a little too expensive. And I think I'll run it like that. I don't think I need Brindle Boy or anything. I don't think he's that aggressive. He didn't show me any artifacts I needed to kill. Maybe it was worth it to run Bojoku just to, to clear out his whole graveyard. I don't know. Um, I have a combo piece. I have a thing to prevent him from countering me. And I have one cycler, but it cycles for a land. And four lands. Man, I'm going to keep just because last match I got so, so mana screwed. And this does have like all the pieces I need at least. And I can just hope to get a good one or two drop in the next couple draws. But it's not looking super good. Oh, that was a really good draw. I will lead on Mount of oh, Swamp, I think, because if for some bizarre reason he has some way to kill Swamp, I would rather I would rather have that. Unfortunately, I can't both Violent Outburst and Ricochet Trap right now, so unless I get another Mountain, that's not going to be worth very much. What? Oh, he didn't reveal it obviously because it didn't flip. Uh, goes to 17. Swings for one. Sure. No blocks. Does he have young Peasy? No. Maybe he's holding up a counter spell or something. Cycle for one. And Treat was pretty spicy. I don't know if I usually see this deck running tweet, Treat, but Treat is certainly a pretty neat card. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what I needed, but I will play a second land. Past the turn, I mean, maybe I'm just violent outbursting for a Pale Recluse and a Monstrous Carabid. It doesn't feel very good if I have to, but something I could see doing. I guess I get the Fairy Macabre, too, and I don't have anything to shoot it down, so that's not terrible. Although he doesn't have any cards in his graveyard right now for me to exile, which is a little sad. But it is up to two. You don't have to exile two. I can say no to it. Oh, he got... Think twice. Well, think twice at least is not a counter. You might very well have a counter, but it's not it. Forest cycling. Forest. So whether I go for it here or wait another turn. Well, I definitely do it at like his end step. Okay, well, I did get another mountain, so I think waiting another turn is safer. Unfortunately, that means I don't do anything this turn. I'll play the forest he knows about, and I'll just pass, and I'll do nothing, which sucks. He'll think twice, which is not good for me, but what are you going to do? I mean, he's not putting me under that much pressure yet, so I guess maybe I don't have to even do it next turn if I draw something worth worth doing, like if I draw a cycler and I can go on a little cycle, cycle combo. But it probably depends what he plays here. I mean, I can almost definitely... Oh, he didn't even attack. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to go off of it here. I think, yeah, whoops. I was wondering, I was like, wow, he didn't even attack. Um, well, let's cycle this. That one I can cycle for free. Put in this. Let's pass turn. It's not going to be great. Three. Uh, it's not going to be great. I still think I go for it. Do I go for it here? I could wait one more turn. What's the worst that could happen from waiting one more turn? He could get to four mana and have two counter spells up. And right now he probably only has one... All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm too scared of the double counter spell. Cast that. Um, exile that. Okay. Um, 
don't think it matters which of these I hit, so I'll hit that one. So what I did worked, I could have targeted uh, Ricochet Trap. Sorry, I'm typing to this guy a lot. Apparently he's a judge, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm a judge. That's what my little, I think that's what he was saying, his little icon up there is like a, maybe a judge-only icon. I don't know. I don't know what he was saying. Okay, he says Trap is the better target in the future. This is a this is one of the most friendly opponents I think I've ever had. So, uh, Ace, Ace is Wild 2481. You are a scholar and a gentleman. I really appreciate the fact that you are nice. I will not pay for this mana leak. But I will living end. And that might be enough to put me in. He, he's saying he thinks I, I have the game. And he might be right. Um, obviously, I'm going to be in a relatively commanding position here. Assuming he doesn't have a board wipe or something. Um, I'm not gonna be. I'm not. I don't think I have lethal on board. Do I? Maybe I do. Four, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, I do not. Um, I will swing in, and then I have to decide whether I kill my own fairy macabre or not. I think I don't, cause it's my only flying creature. Oh, he might have lightning bolt here. If he has Lightning Bolt, I wonder if he kills the fairy. Because if he does, then I definitely play uh, Deadshot Minotaur. Ooh, he has to decide whether he wants to take two life from it, though. Because he's taking two life either way, I guess. Or maybe he has, like, Vapor Snag. That would be pretty. That would be a big, big game. Not sure. Okay, he was the 12. He does have Lightning Bolt. He does Lightning Bolt. The okay. Lightning Bolt's the fairy. Uh, given that he Lightning Bolted the fairy, I'm going to assume that he doesn't have a sweeper. Because I think if he had a sweeper, he wouldn't have done that. He's at one life. Do I have him? Does he have? This is. I think this is actually a harder match than the last, like matchup than the last one. But I got pretty lucky, and I think he got pretty unlucky. He asked me how I liked the entreat. I said the entreat was awesome. I liked it a lot. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll search off it, whatever. Just in case he actually has three in his hand and he's punking me, but I don't think it's likely. He said GG. So I think I have it. Um, so yeah, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Um, got, got a little lucky, but you gotta get a little lucky for combo decks to, to win, and that's gonna happen sometime. Well, he's let me look at his hand. He, he definitely had a lot of counters, like he said. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> There's a lot of counters. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I should stop laughing to myself and talk to you while I'm, while I'm casting it. This guy seems nice and friendly. I like him. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. If you enjoyed this content, please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash magicgatheringstrategy.